Welcome to this first instructional video in a series on ease of access in Windows 10. Now ease of access in Windows 10 is an environment which allows us to personalize the Windows experience to ourselves, to the individual. So for example, if you have a visual impairment, we can make some alterations. If you have a hearing impairment, again, we can make some alterations in that field as well. If you have a, another physical impairment whereby you perhaps can't use the keyboard, then we can make uh, other alterations there. So the idea behind ease of access is to help everybody to be inclusive of the Windows environment. Each of these videos is going to be tackling just one subject within that environment. So without further ado, let's start on the first video. So for example, I'm partially colorblind. So there are certain settings that are, make life easier for me as well. And one of those is that I have my cursor, not cursor, the mouse pointer, a different color from the standard white one. That says that whether I'm on a white background or black background or a blue background or whatever, it's going to stand out and I'm not going to be searching on where is it and moving the mouse around trying to find what I'm looking for. So I'm going to deal with two things at this particular moment. And this is how we're going to do it. Now when my mouse moves across the screen, you're going to notice it starts to glow. That's not part of Windows, that's part of the screen capture software to help you to see where I'm moving the mouse. So over in the bottom left, we're going to go to Start, going to left click on Start, and everything's a left click unless I tell you otherwise. So Start, then we click on Settings. Then over on the right hand side, we have Ease of Access. In here we have several options. We have display, cursor, pointer, magnifier, color filters, high contrast, narrator. Further down we have hearing, which is audio and closed captions. Then further down we have interactions, which is speech, keyboard, mouse and eye control. We won't be going into all of those in this video. We'll be doing separate videos. In this one I'm going to be covering the display. So, <clears throat> make text bigger is the first one. So you'll notice that we have a small a and a large a. If I, we've got sample text here. If I left click on this slider and hold the left button down, then slide this across, you'll notice the sample text is getting bigger. Also, it's telling us what percentage size the text is, all the way up to 225. There we go, which is the maximum. Nothing's happened until I click apply. Before I do that, I want to show you something. Go back to the desktop. Remember what the desktop looks like there. We click apply. You'll notice that all of the text has got bigger but you may have noticed or you may not have noticed that the icons next to the display on the left far left here have remained the same size if we go back to the desktop you'll notice that all of the text is bigger and it looks jumbled up and, and cluttered now so such as this one here for Opera Browser. It now says Op Bro. So we can't even read the full words that are there. So we go back to Settings. And we can either left click and drag this across by holding the button down. Or we can just click one end or the other end instead of dragging. Or click in the middle. So you don't have to drag, you can just click. When we click apply, we go back to the standard settings, the original settings. Now remember how the desktop looked cluttered. 
underneath this we have make everything bigger and they've chosen a default setting sizes that people that Microsoft have found most people feel comfortable with so we have the the one that we normally have then we have 125 percent we click that you notice that everything's changed the texts have got bigger also if you look on the far left here you'll see that the icons next to the text have also got bigger if we go back to the desktop you'll see that the text has got bigger but also the icons have got bigger and you'll also may have noticed that everything has moved over to the right slightly so this is one way to make everything bigger without it looking cluttered I'm going to leave this at 125% for the rest of this tutorial you'll notice underneath we got change the size of apps and text on other displays I won't go into that in this tutorial that's something you can play around with yourself if you want to I'm just going to cover the basics that can make an immediate difference down below we have make everything brighter now that's to make the screen brighter or darker and it again it's personal preference I like 65% because I find that comfortable throughout the day the brighter the screen the greater the risk of eye strain so some people will find that they have what they call screen eyes so they be, their eyes become uh, dry because we blink less when we're looking at the screen also we have a bright light glaring in our eyes so you've got to find a happy medium that you're going to be feel comfortable with if you're going to be sitting in front of it for a long time underneath that we have change the brightness automatically or use a night light we can set that up we won't go into it now it's a bit different video we can set it up so as that come sunset the screen will automatically get a bit darker and the hue of the screen the color of the screen will also change so instead of being a bright blue white blue light it will be a more of a greeny softer light this also helps not only with eye strain but also with our body clocks because the blue light can can mess our body clocks up especially if you're using the computer late at night you can some people find they get insomnia so the night light is is brilliant thing to set up further down we have simplify and personalize windows exactly what it says is exactly what it does some people don't like the animations that can appear in windows so you can turn those on or off they some people find them a distraction show transparency in windows again some people find that having a slightly transparent window seeing what's underneath it is also a distraction also sometimes they feel they, they can't see what they're looking at properly so we can turn that on and off here automatically hide scroll bars now you can't see the scroll bars on this screen at the moment that's because I'm not moving the mouse if there's two scroll bars on this if I move to the to the right the scroll bar will appear here we go if I move to the away from that and stop touching the mouse the scroll bar disappears there's another one just about here <coughs> And it only appears when your mouse goes goes over it so when you move away they'll disappear now this especially if you're using a larger display this this means that your screen is not going to look cluttered if you want the scroll bars there permanently just turn it off and you'll notice there I'm not touching the the mouse and the, the scroll bars are now there permanently turn it back on again and they'll disappear when I stop touching the mouse next we have show notifications from time to time Windows will produce a pop-up in the 
bottom right of your screen with a message that they think is important for you to see or that you may be interested in. You can select how long that pop-up stays, stays on the screen for. So anywhere between five seconds to five minutes. Personal preference. Show desktop background image. Now you remember, let's go back to the desktop. This lady looking through this window down on the earth. Some people find having a desktop background or wallpaper as it's sometimes called a distraction. Sometimes they find that it, it makes it look cluttered and they can't find certain icons that they're looking for. So we can turn that off. So let's do that now. We'll go back and it's disappeared. It's just a black screen. Easy to find what we're looking for. We can change the color of that background. If you don't want it to be black, it can be blue or whatever color you want, white. Just underneath it, where we have it turning on and off, personalize your background and other colors. That's something you can look at later yourself. Give you something to play around with. The more you play around with these settings, the more you get used to how you want your computer to be, how you want your, your display to be. What I would say is, if you're unsure, write down what your current settings are before you change anything. So you can go back to it if you want to. Now, further down, we have related settings. Again, I'm not going to get into these now because we're only going to cover the basics that can give you an immediate effect that makes life easier without giving you too much to to worry about. Further down, do you have a question? So we've got some questions and answers here and also at the very bottom we have get help and also an option to give feedback to Microsoft. So you can tell Microsoft if you found a certain feature really helpful or totally unhelpful. Either way, it means that when they produce the next operating system or the next update, it can make our experience that bit better. So I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found this helpful. The next video will be about the mouse pointer and the cursor. I feel I was going to introduce that in this video, but I thought it would be just too long and make it confusing. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, Give it a thumbs up, a like. Also, click the bell icon to be notified of when we produce our next video. Thank you for watching.